Oh my God, The Rock and Roman Reigns just laid one of the most brutal beatings I ever seen onto Cody and Seth Rollins, bro. It kicked off on the show. Rollins interrupting the Bloodlines promo, you know what I'm saying? Rock and Roman acknowledging each other, thanking each other, wooty wooty woo. Rollins coming from the crowd, throwing shots at Roman right then and there. Rollins came out here looking for a fight with either Roman Reigns or The Rock on the biggest Raw of all time. Neither one of them wanted it. It was Solo, him first is Solo, and Bloodline rules. Fast forward to the main event. Match is going good. Rollins hits the stomp on Solo Sokoa. Jay comes out. Bam. Jay super kicks. You know what I'm saying? Seth Rollins. After that, Jay, I said, no, did I say Jay? I meant Jimmy super kicks Seth Rollins. Jay comes out. With the save, beating Jimmy all the way to the back. Then you just see Jay come flying, <laughs> flying across the backstage area, bro. And the final boss, The Rock, decimates Jay Uso. Gets in the ring, but he fell for what we thought was going to be just Seth Rollins and Cody Rose trap. Because Rollins start laughing and out comes the American Nightmare. Him and Rollins go to town, beating the mess out of The Rock, but... We all thought Roman left. Roman said he was leaving for the night to write his Hall of Fame speech for Paul Heyman because it was announced he is inducting Paul Heyman into the Hall of Fame. Then Roman comes out and the rest is history. The beatdown began. You know what I'm saying? Spear, Superman punches, Rock taking off his weight belt and just him and Roman beating and beating and beating away on Cody and Rollins to end the show, bro. One of the most craziest endings. Back-to-back, like, the the endings of these draws back-to-back weeks have been the same, bro. Like, it's getting you so hyped. I cannot wait for Mania, bro. Like, I was already Team Cody and Team Rollins, but I'm even more Team Cody and Team Rollins after tonight, bro. After that, Michael Cole made it clear that both tag titles will be on the line in the WrestleMania Tag Team six-pack ladder match. You can't just grab one set of titles and win. Both have to be pulled down. So it's looking like we're going to be splitting up the titles. Judgment Day beat down on New Day and DIY. After that, Drew McIntyre continues to do the best work of his career, hosting a funeral towards CM Punk not being at WrestleMania in Philly, saying, look in my eyes, what do you see? CM Punk with no match at Philly, bro. Like, McIntyre, I don't know how they haven't resigned this guy. McIntyre is literally doing the best work of his career, bro. He's one of the reasons WWE is popping off. Also, before the Seth Rollins first solo bloodline rules match, you know what I'm saying? McIntyre tried to warn Rollins. He should have took that warning, bro, because McIntyre was right there trying to warn him. Don't worry about that. Focus on our match. And, hey, You may want to start listening to Drew. WWE also announced that Clash of the Castle is returning in June, bro. This paper was so fire. Tomorrow, they're announcing the location. I'm guessing Wembley. They saw what AEW did. You know what I'm saying? If AEW can do 90,000, WWE should easily do 90,000 at Wembley. Ricochet ain't winning against Ivar. Ricochet putting on a banger of a match, bro. Like, give Ricochet a push. He deserves it. I almost forgot about Sami Zayn versus Bronson Reed 2.0. Gable has been training Sami, trying to get him more resilient. The match is going on between the two in the ring. Sami looking for the finish, but then Gunther dragging, you know what I'm saying, Gable out to the ringside area, and then Sami comes over with the save. Match ends in a disqualification, but Gunther gets the upper hand, chops, kicks, all types of stuff to beat down Sami. Sami gets up and tries to fight back, but... It wasn't enough, bro. Gunther smacking him with the belt. And, yeah, I, I, <laughs> Sammy, boy, 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 you're going to have to be the most resilient you've ever been to take this title off the greatest intercontinental champion. Fire, bro. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Can't wait to see what they do on SmackDown. I, I don't know. I feel like maybe they'll move this over to SmackDown with Roman Rock, Cody, and Seth. Maybe they show up on SmackDown, but who knows? Either way. I'm just lit. I just can't wait for Mania, bro. It's Mania week, and they not disappointed with the first show to open up the week. 9.5 out of 10. Like, come subscribe. Stay tuned for much more, and I'm out.